this will be a collective reading. I hope you guys are all doing well. This will be general, so it will not resonate with every single one of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. This will also not be for any specific zodiac signs, but if I do see them come out, I will mention them. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below. Or you can find more information about joining in the description box. You can also find information there about private readings. I am running a special uh, for private readings for the month of January, so you're going to want to check that out. Um, you can also find information there about purchasing decks that I use in my video, some of the decks. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right, so let's kind of, I just, I was feeling drawn to like see what you guys are manifesting. And I feel like I want to draw a few cards to see what's going on with your money and your finances. And then we'll go from there. So what is my collective manifesting? What do they need? Ooh, I, well, that's why Spirit said they wanted me to um, look into your financial situation. Because we have jackpot here at last. or And it's not even just money. It's like you're about to get everything that you want, Spirit says. It's coming. At last, you will feel like you have it all. Love, success, money, and feeling proud of yourself. You will finally achieve the everlasting happy ending you dreamed of. So your happy ending is near. You, look at this, guys. Victory. You're finally getting something that you've been waiting on for a very long time. A raise, a promotion, finish the project, found the love of your life, or leveled up. You should be proud. So you're about to level up in multiple areas of your life, not just financial. But you guys may feel like there's a lot of uncertainty. Ooh. Yeah, people may be playing mind games with you or leaving out information on purpose, which could lead to confusion and frustration. Be smart and decide if it's worth playing back. Tell me more about this in Gateway. A flood of, you have like, more, yeah, you have opportunities coming towards you. You're going to have choices. You're going to have options. But what is this? On, we're going to get more clarity on that in a second. But yeah, a flood of opportunities are coming your way, giving you many choices to venture on a new path. Listen to your inner voice and let your soul make your decision. Expect to be busy. So you guys are going to be very busy because you have a lot of new opportunities coming into your life. But what is this uncertainty aspect? Maybe you guys are uncertain of where, you know, what's about to happen. Yeah, we have new birth. You're about to give birth to something new, your own business, a side hustle, a new approach to something, or perhaps the birth of a new baby. Whatever it is, enjoy your creation. But what's, what's uncertain about that? Action. So maybe there's going to be an opportunity presented to you, but you guys may not know if you can trust it. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. Like you will have an opportunity for a new beginning in a situation, but you guys may not feel like you, you're not sure if you can trust it or not. But it says no more overthinking. You're breaking the cycle of an action and finally getting something done. You will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in life. And we have soul tribe. Okay. If you've been feeling isolated or with few connections in the world, cheer up. You're about to find your soul companions and form true soul connections, which will be built on trust and love. Okay. And we have patience here. You've put in the heart, you put in the work and now you're waiting to reap the benefits. Keep believing that your season is coming. Yeah. Like you guys maybe feel like you're like, when is it going to be my turn to get the, to have the love or the money or the, the career or the, just the happiness. Like in spirit says, have patience. Like you've put in the work. It's coming. Keep believing that your season is coming. The good you have put out in your life will manifest. There is no need to rush it. Hmm. Yeah, we have good luck here, but give me more clarity around what is this that they need to take action on and why is there uncertainty around this purpose? There will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey. So maybe some of you guys are being presented with some type of like job opportunity or some type of job, like some type of opportunity to like kind of live your purpose. And you guys may feel like it's a scam or you, you may not trust it or something like that. Receiving guiding messages to keep you on purpose and answering answer the calling so that you can live and contribute soulfully. We have completion. You'll reach some kind of completion or you're very close, leaving you feeling accomplished and happy. A new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next chapter. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to do one more out of this deck. See, what is this energy? See, I was always saying I'm going to do one more. And then it's like... There's a situation or a person that's not what it appears to be, but you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret. Pay close attention to your surroundings. So what does that have to do with going forward for my collective acceptance? Okay, so maybe you guys are going to find out that somebody was playing mind games with you, that somebody was leaving out information, that somebody was keeping secrets from you, but you guys are maybe starting to accept it for what it is. Yeah. 
maybe that was what was keeping you stagnant is that you couldn't get over how somebody hid things from you and how they betrayed you, how they took advantage of you. It says you're accepting situations of people for what they are, learning to let go of things that can no longer be fixed and choosing to change to challenge yourself to grow. Yeah, you may be feeling a bit nostalgic and likely triggered, but know that while you can't go back in time and change the past, you can always change the way that you think about it. What is about to happen here? Is, is this is something that's already happened and you guys are just coming to terms with it and making peace with it? Or is something about to happen? Signs. Your guides are trying to communicate with you. They are sending you signs and synchronicities. It could be through music, dreams, or number sequences. Pay attention. And then we have partnership. See, there's some type of connection that's meant to come together, but there's been stagnation in it. But it says, realize that perceived delays are not always bad, but a process your soul needs to go through to activate your soul's potential. So take, so take a deep breath, enjoy the journey, and trust the divine plan. So you do have a partnership coming in. This could be romantic. This could be business, whatever. But Spirit is saying that it's like divinely stagnant right now. Or there's delays in something coming together. Why? Pro there is progress being made. You guys may think it's stagnant, but Spear says there's progress being made, even if you can't see it, or even if it's not moving at the pace you want it to. If things have been slow or you've been feeling unfulfilled lately, expect a strong shift that will shake things up for you to liberate you of this funk that you have been in. So some of you guys may be feeling like you've been in a funk, but see, you have something coming in here. And maybe it was because you guys needed to really step into your divine feminine or divine masculine energy before this union, this marriage, or whatever this is, uh, partnership, whatever this was, what could come in for you before you could, you have vibrational blessings come in, coming in. You're getting in the, getting on the vibration to come into union with your person, to have that dream job, to have the money, like whatever you may get engaged or commit yourself, commit to something or someone because you feel in your heart to be right. You're ready to give it your all, give your all to something you can emotionally and deeply connect with. Yeah, you're transforming into the empress or the emperor. You will feel more confident, looking better and realizing your own worth and standing up for what you deserve. No more settling for less. So once you guys really decided that you like, you know, like, you know what? I'm not settling anymore. If it's not exactly what it what I want, I'm not settling for it. And it's like, as soon as you guys really made that decision, everything is about to come in for you. You had to get on the vibration of what you were really, what you were saying you wanted. You weren't on, the, even if you thought you were at the time, you were on the vibration. But you guys are getting on on the vibration and getting in alignment with these things that you've been desiring. So now they're going to be able to come in or that's what is necessary or needs to happen. Give me one second, guys. Okay. So let's see what's going on with your money. Cause for some reason they told me to look at money. Some of you guys are literally about to hit the lottery. I just heard that with the jackpot energy here. For others of you, it's just you're about to finally have it all. Everything that you or everything that you've been wanting is coming toward you now because you've gotten on the vibration of it. You're like, why do I keep um, attracting dead end jobs, or why do I keep attracting people that aren't serious about me? And it was because that you guys were on the vibration to manifest somebody that was. Like you, you guys maybe didn't realize it, but there was something that you needed to work on within yourself and heal within yourself to manifest that type of person that you were wanting. We have counselor here. So let's get more before I say anything. I cannot make this up. What did I just say? I'm, I'm more so drawn to what this card says on it. Not, you know, some of you guys may be a counselor or maybe your purpose is to be a counselor or a mentor or a, uh, a guru or whatever. But it says maybe time for some emotional healing of your own or release the past. Exactly. That was maybe what was blocking you. Yeah, your mental or emotional troubles could be blocking your abundance. So because of everything that you were you were going through emotionally and mentally, it was hindering your financial growth or abundance as well. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys are meant to do what I do, okay? Like be um, tarot readers or psychics or you guys have spiritual gifts or something like that or energy healing like Reiki, um, stuff like that, okay? Um, yeah, we have networker here. It may be time to create or reach out to your network of people who will help you. Consider a career in marketing or promoting sales or any professional networking job. Make the most of the resources you have in it to improve your finances. All right. We have retail, okay. 
if you have an idea in mind that is giving you the green, if you have an idea in mind, this is giving you the green light that there is a need for it. Consider careers in retail or e-commerce, whether it's goods or services, save time, energy, and add passive income by taking your business online. Okay. And we have promoter. See, what is this? They're trying to tell you that it's time to like, you guys are going to have to take action to see the growth or the money that you want come in here. Like you're going to have to network. You're going to have to maybe like take your business online. You're going to have to promote your business. If there is a new idea or project manifest, you know it has great potential for success. Careers in the nightlife industry, events or rest restaurant industry could be right for you. Use the law of attraction for money. Be the energy. You Guys, I cannot make this up. This is what I was saying. This card says, use the law of attraction for money. Be the energy you want to attract. Didn't I just say you guys are getting in the vibration of it? That's what it, That's what I'm trying to say. Yep, you guys are attracting new money. Something new you've been working on will be very profitable. You should consider creating a new source of income. If you have money, have a money-making idea, do it. So some of you guys are gonna have to like, they're telling you to try to figure out another stream of income, a side hustle. Yeah, didn't I just say you're gonna have to take action? I, I can't make this up. Whatever your question, whatever your question, this is telling you to go for it. Do not procrastinate or wait to take that next step to get ahead. Just do it. Nothing will change if you don't take action. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. What is it? What is the opportunity that they need to take action on that they shouldn't let pass them by, Spirit? You need to speak up about something. Get your message heard and get noticed. You have much to share with the world. Consider careers in radio, public relations, or anything in communications. The only thing holding you back is your inability to speak your truth. Okay. Um, see, prepare. What is this? Setbacks. Deal with things head on and try to prepare for the unexpected before it happens. What is this about? Charity? Donating can create... Hmm, there could be somebody... Is this them? Teacher. Some of you guys can help people out that are going through some type of like, like you have like the ability to help other people to get into a better position or something like that. Yeah. Some of you guys are meant to help like be like financial planners or help like the poor or do some type of humanitarian work or something like that. People that have like, see where you can give more of yourself to helping others and make a difference. Humanitarian work, human rights, justice, or advocacy work could be right for you. Donating can create positive energy around you. So yeah, some of you guys, you have the ability to motivate others to strive to uncover their true potential. Yeah. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being a motivational speaker. You've learned much about money. This is the time to put it into practice. So what does that do with unexpected and setbacks? What does unexpected and setbacks mean for them? Because I see you guys have money coming in. So what is this? Unrealistic. Your expectations in the future are unrealistic and need revision. Perhaps your vision is big and may require a plan and need more careful thought. You could be setting yourself up for failure if you don't set realistic financial goals. unclear see money is either tight or not receiving what you expected the answers you're seek, seek you're seeking will remain unclear for now your basic needs will be met growing up it's it's almost like there's this isn't you somebody else around you may be seeing you as somebody that they could learn from because i feel like there's somebody around you that is going through some type of financial loss or they're going through a lot of setbacks it's almost like somebody's wondering how you how you how you do it that somebody wants to know how you do it how do you get this? How do you get the money? How do you get the jobs? How do you get the the love or whatever? Like there's somebody around you that. Yeah, because we have growing up here, too. It's time to step into your power and stop stop engaging childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. This mess is yours to clean up. Avoid. See, somebody may be wanting you to help them financially, guys. I kind of see that energy here. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own. So yeah, it's like somebody that, yeah, this is emotions. Your emotions are affecting your finances. You're paying too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career. Earn money doing something that you love or a dream job might be offered to you. Huh? Yeah, somebody's going to want to team up with you. I keep seeing this energy come out. I've seen it in, I think it was Leo's reading that was like this a few days ago or last week. But somebody is like feeling like they can really... Either I hope it's not really just benefit off of you, use you, or they're thinking that like that you could teach them a lot. Like somebody is actually 
you, you really, somebody is viewing you as like a mentor to them or they want you to mentor them or they see what you achieve for yourself and they're wanting to know, wanting you to teach them your ways. Like, or if this is romantic, there's somebody that's seeing you and they feel like you got have it all. Like you, you, things just come effortlessly to you. You're a master manifester and they want to be near you because they see that you have that ability. Okay. So let's dive deeper into this. Cause I was like, this is two conflicting energies. One part, one, one energy was, okay, you guys are hitting the jackpot. You're about to come into money. Things are about to start working out for you. And then there was another energy of setbacks and financial failure and loss. And I was like, yeah, that cannot be the same person. Somebody is looking up to you or they kind of admire your ability to manifest or to make things happen. I hope that this isn't somebody that's wanting to try to ben benefit off of you. So, yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. It came out kind of weird, though. Which way was that supposed to come out, Spirit? Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, tell me more. The Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's having delays in work, finances, making money, or something like that. Or trying to build something. Could be, Yeah, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Tell me more. The Ace of Pentacles. See? Tell me more. Ace of Wands in reverse. The tower. See, something happened here. So you're dealing with a person that has like they're like very they have they lack direction. They're they've been they just they get they're very distracted by things that they shouldn't even be focused on. Like there's things that they should be focused on, and there's things that they shouldn't be focused on. And of course, they're more focused on the things they shouldn't be. They just have a lack of direction, and they have a lot of delays and blockages. And yeah, what about the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords? Scorpio energy is here. Talking about the King of Cups, the moon. What is up with this person? See, that's that hidden energy. What are they hiding? The high priest is in reverse. I feel like whatever they're hiding, they are keeping secrets. See, I feel like this person views you as an opportunity or uh, stability. They could view you as stability. What does this have to do with anything? Pisces energy is here. Temperance. Somebody's wanting to reconcile with you because they feel like they could have stability with you. What are, tell me more about this person's intention. Sag energy here with temperance. See, ten of cups. They do feel like they can have a happily ever after with you. But why is the page of cups in reverse? This person is very immature. The nine of pentacles. Yeah, and they're not, they don't have their shit together, guys. So I feel like this person may be trying to, they're wanting to come towards you to collaborate with you, but you guys are going to maybe be, you're going to be very careful to not let this person back into your life because this is going to knock you off of your vi vibration. Like, remember, I said you have vibrational blessings coming in. You have somebody that's wanting to reconcile with you, seeing that you, they feel like you can make them happy. They could be, have they want a family with you. They feel like they can be fulfilled with you. They feel like they can have financial stability with you. But this person is very immature. They're very emotionally closed off. I feel like they're in this unapologetic energy as well. They have a lot of healing that they need to do. They're very blocked and stagnant. And with the nine of pentacles in reverse, they don't have their shit together. You're coming through as somebody that is really stable. And it, you have a lot of good things going for you and coming towards you. And I feel like this is a warning. They're telling you that if you let this person come back into your life, that they're going to bring a lot of instability back. They're going to bring, and it's something about this person triggers your emotions. Remember that card that we saw? Because there was something about whoever this person is, when you let them into your life, I don't know where that card's at, but whenever you let this person back into your life, because of how unstable they are and who they are just in general, they get you in your feelings, right? They mess up. You may notice that when you have this person around you, it affects your 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 money, your finances. I'm going to reread this card. It says your emotions are affecting your finances. You're paying too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career. Earn money doing something that you love or a dream job might be offered to you. This person is a distraction right now. They're going to distract you. And if you probably do keep associating with this person, you are going to be experiencing some setbacks and um, some unexpected financial losses and stuff like that because you're not going to be placing enough energy and focus on to the things that matter because you're going to be too focused on the drama and the whatever is going on with this person. Yeah, I think that they're warning you. Anything else? Because somebody that doesn't have their life together is only going to bring instability into your life too. It would be different if they were coming towards you at, on the same vibration as you. They had leveled up and they were ready to, you know, do the damn thing, but they're not. Say about the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Seven of Cups. This person has realized that they do have feelings for you. Yeah. But they just are still like, they haven't. Virgo Energy. 
What about the Ten of Wands in reverse? The King of Wands. What about the King of Wands? The Five of Pentacles. I'm telling you. They, they're going through some type of financial loss or something like that. Yeah, and they kind of maybe feel like you're leaving them behind. Like you're letting them go. What is the Hermit in reverse though? Yeah. Even if they... Mm, somebody hasn't moved on from you. Something's not over. Somebody will be back. But just know that they're still in this energy. Yeah, you guys have healed. Like you guys have healed from this person. And of course, they're going to want to come back. But they're the devil. The toxic energy. Yeah. Just be careful with this. Because I see you guys have... You're, you're, you've gotten onto the right vibration. But I feel like this person maybe feels that. All right. Um, and I'm not saying that they're coming in to sabotage you, but they just they're coming back towards you because they need your help or they view you as somebody that is stable and they they feel like you're somebody that they want to have around them. But they're not seeing how they, they're not a good influence on your life. Like. And like, I see that they don't really have anything to give you, so they're going to be taking from you and that's draining. Um, is there anything else? Let's get a few more of these. Uh, where are they at? What else is my collective need to know? Let's do a few of these. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. It's at least right now, if you let this person come back. They're keeping things hidden from you, too. We're going to take a deeper look at that over in the extended reading. but Or they're just trying to hide their motives from you. See divine truth. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. Yeah, you're going to get clarity or you're going to see the truth about something. The witch, they see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a spell. Resurrection. Yep, somebody's coming back. What you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. And we have the mask here. See, what, what is hidden is that this person doesn't also want to, they don't want to express their true feelings to you. They're, they're coming towards you with a facade here. Yeah, because we have the, the King of Cups and the Moon. Somebody's not ready to tell you how much they love you. They're hiding this. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. Give me a couple more. We have Wishing Well. There's a lot of excitement in the air. You awaken a new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibilities. Yeah, they're emotionally unavailable, guys. They're emotionally unavailable. It is time. It is for your highest good to move on and find your happiness again. One more. And we have, well, what did I just say, guys? Why is that? It says they are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. Didn't I say it would be different if they came towards you and they had raised their vibration or they had gotten on your frequency or your vibration? So what is making this person level up here? Divine intervention, tower moments that they're going through because we do have the tower here. So your rejection is going to be a tower moment for this person who just had a reading like this. Leo, I believe it was Leo that had a reading like this. It says they are experiencing many tower moments in their life. It's not even just something with you. It's other things too. That whatever has caused them to have this financial loss as well. Yeah, especially if they were financially dependent on another person. Because that growing up card is what I'm seeing in my head. So they could have been reliant on another person to pay their bills or take care of them. It could have been their mommy or their daddy. Um, yeah, it's time for somebody to grow up. Yeah, it's time for somebody to grow up. Somebody's been being babied for too long. Somebody's been babying this person taking care of them. Yep. They were maybe depending on somebody else's income and then they lost it somehow. Yeah. They, it's like they were depending on somebody else to pay their bills and then somehow they ended up losing that. And now they're over there like, this person's trying to find the next place that they can find some type of stability. No, you need to find stability for yourself, sir or ma'am. That's them still being very childlike. I told you they're very immature. They like try to find people that they can that will take care of them or baby them or like, so that they don't really have to grow up and face certain things. But I feel like they're about to not have anybody to rely on or be the spirits forcing this person to grow up. Yep. And they feel, they feel like it's hard for them to stay away from you, but they've been resisting coming towards you. They feel stupid though. Yeah. They feel stupid. They know that they mess things up with you. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else, but you can satisfy craving you more and more. All right, guys, we're going to take this over to the extended reading. Um, we're going to take a deeper look at the entire situation, feelings, intentions, guidance, all of that will be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. 
Um, private reading information can be found in the description box. You can also, they are on sale for the month of January, by the way. You can also find information about purchasing decks that I use in my videos. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended. Bye.